Hello, people. But only to annoy uh, usually French speakers, which means there's going to be a very exciting return. Barely a fortnight passed. Deadshot gets the opener. Solotov taken off the board. And now with the hop out, the cheeky movement. And considering there's some Wolves players upstairs, it's a big opportunity for them to actually go and try that, but uses fine Deadshot, I believe that might have been through the double window out there, instantly drops back off, and that is just a free kill. Now P4 oh. drops as well, and that means Eminem, they've turned the, 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 the balances here. Who's going to be calling out that the plan's happening right now, so they need to do something about it, but 45 seconds will be on the clock as they fail to deny it. Well, they at least get the kill on the back, and with Nello in a very tricky situation here, Shink is able to win out the fight, forces it against them. Now, the player watching on the side is Tyrant, regardless of what the outline tells you, and they're making sure that no one gets across this divide of the site itself. They're going to have to double down for the swing. There's one, there's oh, two! The Tyrant held on with all that he could, and Bibu. Not on the top ropes with Nate keeping a keen eye. Eminem, they open up on the back foot, but they close the round with a success. Now for a second there because of the outline. Yeah, there's a little bit of things with outlines at the minute. Um, I hope they sorted. Well, thanks for certain that there's Wolves players out there that will be hunting you if you do. Yeah, they're ready on the window, but it's Mowgli that gets knocked off first. And that's Solotov knocking right on the door of sight and sort of saying, Hello, mates. They're going for the cover of the smoke. They're going for this plant that we talked about with Wild before. Oh, and that's yes. exactly what they showed at the start. But P4 gets the kill on Tonello. Solotov gets the trade back out. Oh, there's the little shoulder jiggle. There's Bibu dropping from the top and getting one kill. There's a couple back into the favor of Eminem. And there is the end of the round. They went for that Wild take. And if you want to get a cleaner idea of that take watch the very start of the show fresh breaks it down brilliantly with the use of our and get an answer for it as i say mowgli gets dropped though some trade coming out from p4 takes some damage as well not a run out to be taken by bibu as he gets shut down himself a lot of aggression coming out right as the e1d fades and then i'm coming out on top with a man advantage well that shot's still holding on to the top of the rafters in the gantry is holding on to Nave. Gets the body balance back into their favor. Solotov suffers on the scrape as he goes for the fight against Deadshot. And now locked out, it's Tyrant just slipping in, but... Sending it down there to uh, spook any players out there. Finds one. Deadshot suddenly drops it. You know about one inside the pantry. It's just one single player unknown. Actually, P4 found now near billiards. Tyrant knows his two targets. Needs to find them one by one. Pick these isolated fights. And as he goes, Crouch gets spotted out. Cannot quite connect to Shinka, oh. but we'll find the shot on P4. Oh. Gets taken down right after, though, by Shinka. Didn't crouch just in time. And that means Wolves, they have a round on the board now as well. I mean, it's as close as you can sort of get it here, and this is what we wanted and expected from in the time and timeline. You can see the terror on Tyrant there. Expecting something from the small box jump out, but otherwise, with Mowgli pulling himself back in, as Summerbeal pops open, he's more than happy to watch. It's something that gets opened on the back end, and, well, the oh. jump out came from the opposite side, and... And now has gone to the side and started opening that one up, as Deadshot does take care of Solotov. Not quite sure where that happened from. A very close, the spots a lag, is going to be able to find a kill into Deadshot, so gets that trade in the bedroom. The first engagement gets the pick back up, but P4 was there, and Nello just missed him on the swing round, and a bit tragic, but here's another chance at a pinch on the player. Pre-fires the stairs, P4 gets his third for a round, Nape at least stops it. Swung from both sides, and unfortunately can't quite get out. Wolves pull themselves back level. He had to make a play there when uh, after his teammates died. No 1v3, the bulletproof saw him. <laughs> That's going to be uh, a guaranteed kill coming through. P4 taking some damage. Deadshot, he went for the actual aggressive push out there. And Eminem suddenly to find themselves with a two-man advantage if it wasn't for Shinka replying with a C4 instantly. Yeah, C4 out of the hatch, out of the window, and out of the player. Pucked around. There's pings roughly towards where they think the player is. That grenade will bounce down just a bit short, but that sure doesn't. Tyrant with a spray through, and then Mowgli with a spray right back. As I said, they had the awareness on the player, but still. A C4 connection earlier on in this round. 30 seconds for him to try and isolate one of these first engagements. There it is. And with two opponents still stood above him, Eminem. Can you try and get yourself closed down with a little bit of wiggle room for an error? Now the rough position where he is. Flashbangs are coming in, and that means they need to reply. He's fully white by the flashbang. Nave gets a first couple of shots down. He cannot quite connect for the second time around either. Nello goes down with a shotgun. Nine seconds after the clock, oh! gets the second one as well. Shinka clutches it out in a 1v3. And Wolves 
get another round. They might not have should have gotten there. I M and M, they were leading that for again. The Fenrir. Oh, oh. Just waiting underneath that window. We'll find Tyron as he opens it up. Wolf's waiting patiently. Just tight enough for he wouldn't be shot. Slow creep round, wants the revenge fight here, is watching towards one angle. Solotov does get dead shot, and there's Mowgli with Solotov right back. Oh, by the fear, there's 10 seconds left. They need to go for a push now. Bibu over the top is going to be spotting out, but there's nobody left out there. Nella will find Shinka before he gets traded back out. The diffuser might be dropped at that point. Three seconds left. There's only one player left on Wolves. Bibu will find a single kill, oh! and the time will run out. Wolves will win another round, and we're looking at each other, not being able to shut each other down. I mean, it couldn't have been closer there. Eminem, the quick break onto this wall. As I said, it's sort of the standard, sort of the way you always approach, whether you go for the plant here or not. But Deadshot gets Nafe on the back of it. P4 suddenly gets Yuzus as well. And where Deadshot's been able to dig their way all the way across. I'll say that. And now, look, the spray over the back. Solotov gets one, gets two. There's one more to his shoulder he's not aware of. Wolf screamed their way in. They know where the kid is. But they can't quite get their way through to it. Nello, he wants to root against it. And well, as the swing comes around on the back end, it's a one versus two situation. Tyrant has a fight immediately on his right hand side. He cannot win it out in Wolves. Skeleton key as well. I mean, quick work of that round. <sighs> They spotted an opportunity, no one in the side or only two people. Swing round, Nello takes a lot of damage. He's probably screaming out for help, but it's Nath and Solotov. They're able to get two kills on the cover. E4, if he can win out the next fight and suddenly get some favor, then they might keep the hope alive. Now as they try and come around, P4 takes a lot of damage, eventually does get taken down. A second kill comes through as Solotov just sweeps up onto the side and now it's only up to B with a diffuser dropped cold in the side and 90 seconds left for him to play with here. So going to jump into the mud room. Drone gets tossed out just for information's sake. Still a player inside a library above the hatch tyrant. They're aware of him? No, they're not. He cleans it up. Eminem, they were able to find a round after well, basically five in a row from Wolves. I mean, that's in let them know like, hey, I'm still here. Uh, I have this big explosive package. I'll be throwing at you. Try and get me. Uh, and Tyrant exactly does that as Mowgli comes around the corner. You can see he's just oh. angling for the fight and angles himself perfectly teed against it. Double down as of yet. There's a bit of cover and support as Solotov does find P4, but Bibu does end the run and the rampage of Tyrant a little. Gets him through the soft Solotov dropped. Pushing down, it's going to be walking right into the crossfires off the M&M side of things. Users will shut him down, and that means we're oh, uh, getting M&M back in the game as well again. Okay, M&M, the tact timeout has worked a little bit of wonders. <laughs> All rules, uh -oh. they can still change that. Uh -oh. Oh, uh oh, good shot there from Dead Shot. Dead really shot. Uh, being accurate there, finding Solotov. Not quite sure if they had information or if that was just, you know, being prepared for these kind of spawn peaks or anything. Yeah, the calls oh. are coming through. There's more of a spray. The C4 over the top doesn't quite get fully locked in. He's trying to find a fight and does get a kill out of it. He really probably shouldn't have. So he'll be very happy with that. The time that he wasted and the body that he wasted too. Mowgli, gone. Nafe wanted to offer some support. Unfortunately, a little bit too late. But with Tyrant getting caught out on the top floor, that is the tragedy. With the site being all the way on the bottom, maybe just expected nobody to still be watching piano, but the drone game of Wolves was pretty encompassing. Now, I mean, the prep C4 on that wall. Is that going to drop down to the site with 45 seconds? There's no reason for Wolves to take a full control of the rest of the map here. And as the Bugies are going up above, it is Bibu that fails to actually get the kill. Nave goes quite low. Users is going to be able to not well, get the kill either, actually. is Nave now in a 1v3 situation. 30 seconds left on the clock. Can he clutch it or will Wolves go to match point? It's a very tricky situation because you've got to go super wide to get the angle on it. And, oh, there's one. There's almost two, but they just slink away out of shot. They're not sticking around and... And they're probably not going to stick that. They're trying to find the angle and the fight. The drop comes oh. through. Wolves. They push themselves to map point. 
For a second there, I was afraid we're actually going to stick it and Wolves was just willing to wait it out. And Nave does, is going for a rotate. Mowgli gets called off. Shinka drops into the side as he finds one. The smoke canister will help him out there. Dicks deep, finds a second onto the side. And now there's an opportunity to go for a plant. With 30 seconds left on the clock, Solotov drops as well. And Wolves find themselves on a 4v2 in a match point. Well, that is all Wolves players on the site itself, regardless of what the outlines tell you. And Tyrant's going to see if he can try and retake it on the back end. Cannot see the fight over the top. It's all down to Nafe. He takes a lot of damage to get himself here, but they're in every corner. And Wolves take the clear three points this time. No OT on this showing on Chalet. And a little bit of revenge from what happened not too long ago in the finals of combat. For me, Wolves, like, like people said, you know, they lost every single game in the EUL Stage 1 in the league.